So next I wanted to talk about how to license Aviva Edge. In our experience, Edge's license activation can be a little confusing to some people and a little tricky, but it doesn't have to be. The process is actually fairly straightforward and this video will show you how it works. Communication device. Let me show you what I mean. In order to open up your registration, you go click here and click on Aviva Edge 2020 and register. It'll give you a protection manager. So this hard key is uh, using a USB. Uh, you can put choices a USB and attach the USB and you can license it. Uh, we're going to show you how to do the soft key way today. So click on soft and click on check. Okay, there's a warning, protection methods changing, whatever, and say yes for this one here. And you can see there's no license in this system. If there's any license, all the information will be allocated here. So I'm gonna click change license. And the network adapters here, I've got two network adapters on my system. One is a NIC card, another one is a Bluetooth device. So let's say I, I click my NIC card. They give you a hardware identification code here. Now I'm not too sure what this code is, maybe someone can uh, let me know, but uh, this is what you need uh, to put in their web page, along with the serial number and the sequence number. And after that, they'll give you an activation code and you click authorize. Let me walk you through on that Aviva web page on how you can actually enter these details here. You open up the browser in here, uh, the URL that you wanna go to would be this one here. The URL on the link, but if you want, you can pause the video here and copy the URL. I'm going to copy my clipboard and paste it here. Note that uh, you do need to create user account with Aviva in order to do this, which is pretty trivial. I just need to enter some of the details there and, and you get access to it. I'm going to log in with mine. Now you get to this stage you are required to enter serial number and sequence number. So normally you can get this from your supplier. If you don't have it or normally you get a mail or whatnot. So the serial number and the sequence number looks something like that. It's uh, seven digits numbers and the sequence number is this number here. So sometimes they give you, when you ask them for serial number, they give you this thing as whole, but note that this is your sequence number. So I'm going to punch in my serial number. And then you click next. You can see that there's a, this is what your license look like. All the details are in here. Your hardware identification is here. This is where you enter them. And you get that hardware identification from, from this section here. I change license software key. Click on this to copy. And you paste it. And you hit submit. Once you hit submit, the next page, they'll give you an activation code. I'm not going to activate mine for now. Uh, this is just a test machine. Enter your activation code, you authorize it. As soon as you authorize this, all this will be licensed. So as you can see, edge, activation, edge license activation uses the handshake method. So you need to get, use the hardware identifier for the particular edge uh, product that you have installed. Go on the website, which you can find via Google. If you enter edge activation, it's the first uh, link that you can see there. And then you enter it there and then it will spit out an activation code that you then use to license your um, edge environment. Hey, hey, Pierre, there's a question in the chat. I think about if they want to change the activation, maybe you can answer it. Let's see. No, so uh, a soft key is not associated to a specific site. It's associated to a specific license. So there shouldn't be a charge if you move it. 